In Exchange Server 2019, when we create any recipient type, what we generally get is we generally get that recipient type will be added to a global address list. And a global address list, as its name implies, is global. And uh, within Microsoft Exchange Server 2019, you would suspect that you can only have a single global address list, but that's not the case. You can create multiple global address lists. Now, the reason why you may want to do this is you may want to install within your organization, perhaps an ethical firewall. You don't want two sets of people to be able to communicate with each other. Yes, they could go and talk to each other physically, but if they go to send a person an email and the name is not on a list, then strictly speaking, they might not understand that that person does physically exist uh, in person. So one of the things we can do in order to create this ethical type firewall or this separation within our company is we can create a thing called an address book policy. An address book policy is a global address list plus a room list plus an offline address book. And then what we do is with that global address list, with that room list, and also as well with that offline address book, what we can do is we can then create this email address policy. So what I've done is I've come into Microsoft Exchange Server 2019, I've come into the Exchange Management shell, and now what we need to do is we now need to start creating some objects to allow us to create our address book policy. So to do that, we need to start publishing these PowerShell commandlets. So the first one thing we need to do is to create a global address list that we will use for the address book policy. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to issue my new hyphen global address list, space hyphen name, research gal, for research global address list, then space hyphen conditional department, and then space will be research. And then what we'll do is we'll do a hyphen include recipients, and we'll include all recipients. So what we've done at this point now is we've now created that global address list. The next thing we need to do is just update that global address list. And we'll do that by using the update global address list PowerShell commandlet. So what we're doing at this point here is we're doing an update hyphen global address list and then space hyphen identity space research gal. So we've now done that. Next thing to do is to create an offline address book. So we'll create an offline address book with another PowerShell commandlet. And what we're going to use here is new hyphen offline address book, space hyphen name, space we're going to call this research OAB, then space hyphen address lists. We're going to do that from the research gal. So that's now gone through. So now what we have is we now have our global address list called research gal. We have an offline address book called research OAB. And all we're going to do is for our address book policy is we're also going to tie in as well the all rooms from the resource emails that we have in place. So we need to issue another PowerShell commandlet for that. Let's just clear the screen off and just issue the commandlet. And what we're going to issue is a new hyphen address book policy, space hyphen name, we're going to call this research ABP, and then space hyphen address list, we're going to put in the all departments research address list hyphen offline address book will be research OEB, global address list will be research gal, and the room list will be all rooms. The final thing we have to do now is we now just have to apply this policy to something. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to specify this policy and we're going to push it out against the research organizational unit. And to do that, we're going to do a get hyphen mailbox space hyphen organizational unit space research. So we're getting every mailbox from this organizational unit in research. And then we're going to use the pipe, which is the shift backslash on my UK keyboard. And we're going to do a set hyphen mailbox space hyphen address book policy will be the research ABP. So now we've applied that. Let's just make sure it is definitely working. Let's move over to the client device and log in as a user called August, who's a member of the research department. So we've logged in. Next thing to do at this point here, so we are definitely logged in as August, is if we just come to the address book, what we should see is we should see, if we have a look at this, we have a global address list. If we click on the drop down, what we can see is we can see research, we can see all rooms, see the global address list. Uh, what we can see is we can see a subset of users. Now one of the users that we have outside the research department is a user called Beth, and we definitely can't see Beth. So that's the end of this demonstration of using address book policies. Thank you.